Hey guys, how are you doing? Oh my goodness, I missed you so much. You have no idea how much I have missed sitting in this seat, looking at this camera, talking to you all. Um, I hope I don't look like a complete insane crazy person and that is very possible because, you know, I'm pretty rusty at this. Um, I looked back at my channel the other day and I was like, I haven't posted a video since November. Like, we're almost in April. Um, needless to say, I've just been <laughs> really busy doing the, uh, the work thing and the mom thing and it just leaves um, basically zero time to come in here and do this. And, you know, the last several videos I've made um, last year, <laughs> every time I'm like, oh, I'm hoping that things are gonna uh, regulate here soon and I'll be able to get more on a normal, like regular filming schedule and it just never happens. So I do apologize about that. Um, thank you for those of you who have reached out and asked me where I've been and asked me if I'm okay. I really appreciate that. And um, everything is great, like it's fabulous. I'm really ha happy um, with my mom role, like that's the most important thing to me. And it, without like getting sappy on you, I mean, um, my little girl is just like the joy of my life. So that's what I've been doing um, and working, working a lot. But I have some time. And I have a couple videos that I'm going to film all this one. And then I'm crossing my fingers that tomorrow I can film and get ready with right. that. Um, I wanted to just share with you my favorites over the last few months. And so I thought, well, maybe I could just call this like my winter favorites. Like the products that I really pulled for over the winter time. Because I haven't even talked to you all since fall. I did want to start out with a hair tool that I got. I don't even remember when I got this. It's been a few months ago and I've been using this consistently and I love um, the other hair tool that I've gotten from Irresistible Me. It was the 8-in-1 Sapphire curling set and I love that thing and I use it pretty much every time I want to curl my hair. So they also sent me a straightener. This is the Diamond Flat Iron and, <coughs> excuse me. I was actually really excited to get this because um, my new me flat iron, I never really feel like it gets my hair stick straight and really smooth. So I was actually in the market for a new straightener anyway and then they contacted me and asked if I would be interested in trying this one and I said sure. And just like the 8 in 1 Sapphire uh, curling wands, I really really love this too. And um, it's a little bit unique. I've never had a flat iron quite like it before. It has plates that are like, I think they call these floating plates where you can actually press down on them. And they actually have diamond crystals embedded in here. And um, what it's supposed to do is kind of protect your hair and uh, maintain the natural oils and fight frizz and just make it really, really smooth. It also heats up faster than I'm pretty sure any other hair tool, period, that I've ever used. It's just super easy. Um, it has the power switch here, the temperature controls. I always just put it up to the highest one because, girl, I need it. And it will tell you right here what temperature it's on. And there's a little green light here that lets you know when it's completely heated up. So really, really like it. It gets my hair so straight. When I first started using this and I wore my hair straight, I had several people ask me if I got a new straightener because it definitely made a difference. You can curl your hair with this too. Um, I'm not very good at that, like with any straightener that I have, so I'm still working on that, but I really, really like this. And if you are interested, I do have a coupon code for you guys. I'll have it in the info bar. It's for 10% off, but I highly recommend Irresistible Me styling tools. And they also have really awesome hair extensions too. A couple of skincare items. Now, if you all have been with me for a while, you know that I have dry skin. And so the winter time can be a little bit of a challenge and a struggle for me to keep my skin feeling comfortable and hydrated. So uh, one thing that I've been liking, and I think I got this in 
either an Ipsy bag or a BoxyCharm when I used to get BoxyCharm. I can't remember, but I know I didn't just like go out and seek this out. I've never heard of it before and I've never heard anyone else mention it. Um, so I got it in one of those like subscription bags. But this is the Mitchell and Peach Fine Radiance Face Oil. And um, I will just put like four or five drops of this on my skin at night and then I'll go over it with my regular nighttime moisturizer. And it's kind of like this other product. Let me just go ahead and tell you it too because I feel the same way about both of them. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Oilless Oil. And I've had this before and I think I've even mentioned it on here before a long time ago. And again, I got this in a subscription bag. But um, I said before that I really love this and I can't really explain why and it's the same with this. Um, it just... I notice a difference the next day in the way my skin not only feels but looks. It's kind of like it brightens or something. I really don't know. Like I don't know the word to describe it, but um, definitely helps to hydrate and I, I think it just improves the overall appearance somehow. I don't know how it works, but um, I've been switching off mainly between these two. I, I am still using my Blissful Body oil, whatever that's called, but um, these are lighter and thinner and they don't feel as um, oily on your face. So I really, really love these two. Next up, when I first started using these, and I think I got these in the VIB sale, so you may have actually seen one of them at least um, when I did my haul, but that was the last video I made. And so I was like, as I've been using these, I'm like, I've got to tell these YouTube girls about these things here because they're amazing. This is Nude Sticks, and um, I got mine, like I said, at Sephora. I'm not sure if they're at Ulta or not, but um, these both happen to be eye pencils, but they also have, like, lip and cheek pencils, and I have one of those, too, and it's pretty awesome. But my favorite are the eye pencils, and um, the two shades I have... The first one I got is called Angel, and this is a really shimmery champagne pink color. And it's just a perfect all-over lid color, <clears throat> inner corner highlight. And what I love about these is you can wear shadows over them, but you don't have to. You don't have to. You can wear these as a lid color alone, and they will not go anywhere. They have it on me anyway. The next one I got was a recommendation from Kristen, and um, she was totally right. This thing is amazing. This shade is called Twilight, and this is like a bronzy, almost like khaki kind of color. And um, when she was telling me that I need this, she described it as the lazy girl's smoky eye. And I was like, well, that kind of sounds like me. <laughs> um, I am kind of lazy, but um, mainly because, you know, I usually do my makeup in a hurry um, on weekdays well, and anymore every day. It's just very minimal and I like to get it done so I can go do other things. And this is amazing as a lid color with a transition blended in. That's really all you need. But if I have a little extra time, I will take a darker color into the outer corner and it is beautiful. And I also line my lower lash line with this and then just smudge it out with like the transition shade. And it adds a little something, but very daytime appropriate. And it's just perfect. And they last so long. They're so smooth. They don't pull or tug at your eye. They're so creamy. I highly recommend those. I definitely want to try more shades, but those two shades are amazing. And I have some foundations that I've been wearing all winter long. And it's funny because I haven't worn any of these alone, hardly at all. Like I just mix all of these as a combo, depending on what skin tone I am or just my needs because some are really shimmery and some are more natural. Um, the first one, and I'm actually out of this, but I saved it because I want to show you all. This is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation, and um, I got the shade Porcelain. And the reason I had to mix this was because, disclaimer also, I feel like they look darker in the jar because um, I was in Target, I believe, is where I got this. I was in Target, and I was trying to find my shade, and I've never tried this before. 
And I was like, well, that looks about right. But when I got it home and put it on, this is really pale. And granted, I am really pale, but um, it was a little bit like too much. I mean, I looked crazy. So I would mix this with other things. Um, one of them being the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. And this shade is a nude. And when I'm my natural skin color like I am right now, this is a little bit too dark for me. But um, I would mix these two to get the perfect shade since this one's too light and this one's too dark. And I really, really like that. I really can't tell you what I think about this on its own because I didn't use it enough on its own to really know. But mixed, it's a really good like mixing foundation. This, um, I have mixed the more than I've worn it on its own, but I did self tan a few times last week and I was able to wear this on its own and I love this. It's beautiful. What kind of finish does it say that this has? I don't even know. But I would say it's just like a really natural kind of finish. I don't feel that it's overly matte and it's definitely not dewy. It's just really natural and um, it made my skin look really smooth. So I really like that. And then for the same, two of the same issues, I've been mixing this with this. This is the It Cosmetics CC Your Skin But Better CC Cream deal, you know. But this is the illuminating one. And um, in one of my last videos, I told you guys I wish, oh no, my battery, I've got another battery. Got another backup, prepared. Let me go ahead and change it anyway. I said that I regretted purchasing this because it has straight up glitter in it and it just doesn't look good on my 33 year old skin and my acne scarring and pores and that sort of thing. And um, so I have been mixing it with this and occasionally, I forgot to mention this, I also mixed um, the Maybelline a lot with this. This is the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation, but this is even darker than this. Um, so I kind of had to stop doing that once I got like super, super quiet. <laughs> but um, it is a good thing to mix with this because this is like way matte, like way matte. And this is, you know, kind of glittery. But I'm doing really good because I'm actually using this up and I'm so proud of myself that I paid 40 bucks for this and I'm finding a way to make it work. Okay, so that's my foundation. Um, I've been wanting some luminosity, luminosity to my skin. Since it has been dry this winter and we're getting into spring and I want, you know, some dewy skin. So I have been using my MAC Strobe Cream. I had kind of put this aside for a long time and this is a brand new thing of it and I'm already down to right here. I just really, really love this. And um, yeah, I don't know, it's not, I think anyone could use this, I think. Um, Cause it doesn't have any glitter in it or anything like that. It just, if you use it underneath your foundation, it just gives you like the perfect amount of natural glow. And I feel like it wears really well under foundation too. It doesn't make it get weird or anything, so really been loving that. Um, for eyeshadows, this is going to be a really long video. For eyeshadows, um, I've been using the exact same old things I have used for the last year. And that is, you can tell, um, Vanilla Bean because it's like gone. Uh, this is from Makeup Geek and this is what I use to put all over my crease area and my brow bone to make my shadows blend better and I actually had to get another one so repurchase and <clears throat> Barcelona Beach also for makeup geek I'm gonna need another one of these soon too this is the perfect transition shade for when I'm super pale because it's a little bit more on the cool side um, normally I was using like latte yeah latte but um, it's a little too warm for me when I am this fair. It just doesn't look as good on me. So, um, really been loving those two. I know that's kind of boring, like just really basic shades, but it's been an everyday thing. And then um, some lid colors that I've been wearing a lot are both Makeup Geek foiled shadows. This one's in Grandstand and this one is in the Spotlight. This is a bronzy color and this is a peachy champagne color. They're just basically foolproof, like I said, where I'm in a hurry all the time. It's easy to just slap this stuff on and go. Speaking of Makeup Geek, I also got a couple of um, 
Well, I got a new eyeshadow. This isn't new but for them, but it's new for me. I wanted a darker brown. The darkest one I have from them is Mocha. And I wanted one that was even darker. And this is Americano. It's a matte dark brown and it is beautiful. It's really, you know, all you need to say about that. And then I got one of their new contour powders and I was so excited to get this. I got Bad Habit, which is the warm fair shade. Um, I'm not very warm, but I wanted the warm one so that I could maybe use it also as a bit of like a bronzer shade. Um, I just don't like a lot of cool tones on me, so um, I didn't know how that would work. So I just went ahead and got the warm fair. And this is um, awesome. It's awesome. Um, <laughs> you have to be really careful with it if you are my color because it is so pigmented. Like I almost feel like you could just hover your brush over it and it would just like get onto your brush. You know what I mean? I, like I literally barely touch my brush to this and I still have to kind of tap it off a little bit or it will just be way too much on my cheek. But really, really like that. Um, uh, another, like a bronzer that I've been using a lot is from Too Faced. Um, this is the Matte and Poreless Pore Perfecting Bronzer. And I'll tell you why I have liked this so much is because you see how light it is. Um, where I've been, I hate to keep going on about how pale I am, but we just got out of winter here, you know? And um, not everything works for pale people, but this really does. If you are very fair and you would like a really natural bronzer, highly recommend this. It is matte. It's it's not very cool. It is a little more, you know, on the warm side. Um, but it's just really, really pretty if you want something and you're super pale. I've also pulled back out my Hourglass little trio palette here, Ambient Lighting palette. This is Dim Light incandescent light and radiant light and I'm pretty sure these two are just in this correct me if I'm wrong but um, my favorite is dim light and it is permanent you can get it um, individually but I just I really like that like I said I've been wanting some more you know luminous skin so I really really like those and for my cheeks um, been going back and forth in between a peach and a pink you all know how I feel about my warm soul I think anyway. Have I been talking about this or do I just feel like I have or I haven't been making videos? I love this. This is the prettiest blush I think I have. It's probably my favorite blush that I have. It's so pretty. It's just kind of a luminous um, peachy color. It doesn't look like much swatch but it is so pretty on your cheeks. When I want a pink, I've been reaching for Tarte Doll Face. It's just a really true pink. It's matte. It's real. It's just awesome. Oh, and one more thing. This is like a rediscovered product. I bought this and haven't really used it a lot. And I'm like, that's stupid. So <laughs> I busted it back out. And this is my first day beauty eye duty triple remedy like treatment thing. You all have probably seen this, but you squeeze it out right there and then you smooth it on your under eye area and it has a really cooling tip to it. And it has a little bit of pigment to it, um, kind of that salmon-y kind of tone. So it corrects a little bit. I mean, not a ton. It's not like putting a corrector on, but um, it's just nice. And I'm like, you know, I need to use that because I did buy it and it wasn't cheap. So <gasps> no, there's one more thing. I have a perfume. This is, um, this is in my little scent bird thing, but I haven't even started using this yet because I have a smaller um, size of it that I got from Sephora, but this is the YSL Black Opium. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I kind of like heavy scents. You know, that's what I'm in the mood for. They don't bother me. I kind of like something heavy. And so um, I bought like a little... It's a roller ball size at Sephora, but it's a spray because I don't really like roller balls because I know I just won't use them. I like the spray. That way I can like spray it over my clothes if I need to because, you know, it's winter time. And um, it is more of a heavy scent, so I feel like it's really appropriate for winter. But I'm one of those people that I'm not like a seasonal person. Like I'll wear it all summer because, you know, I have even more of it here. I went ahead and got it in my scent bird. And I was like, well, that'll save me from spending the $100 on... Um, you know, like the big size of it. And by that time, I might want something a little lighter, so. 
I'm gonna stop rambling because I've like really rambled a whole lot. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am sorry about my absence. I hope one day soon I can do better, but I am gonna film another video tomorrow, fingers crossed. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So definitely look in the info bar and I'll have that coupon code for you if you wanna check out Irresistible Me. And I think that's it. I really hope you guys had a good winter, but I hope you're really ready for spring because I know I am. And hope you're just uh, well and we're having a good week. <laughs> so I'll talk to you later. Bye.